Well, good morning. How are you all today? And welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I am Steve Smith. Are you ready for what's coming? And have you thought about what's coming? Do we even know what's coming? Well, it's coming. I think a lot of things are coming and they are going to come together in one big thing. And that's what I want to talk about today. Um, before we get to that, by the way, I have a special announcement for stone miners. <clears throat> a very special announcement for stone miners, for anybody who's new here, doesn't know what I'm talking about. What in the world, Steve Smith, what's a stone miner? Uh, it's the people who have, who have read the Stone Mont series. What's the Stone Mont series? My series of books. I'm the author of the Stone Mont series, The Reversion, The Revival, The Renewal, and Appeal to Heaven, The Blessings of Freedom, and Hostages to Fortune. The complete guide in novel form, six novels so far. Yeah, I'm halfway through the seventh. <clears throat> on the complete guide and plan on how to prepare for, how to survive, and how to rebuild after a total collapse. They've been out since, two, well, the first one came out in 2017. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people around the world have read these and learned for them. We have people who have read them through five times and continue to learn from them. Uh, I don't mean to be bragging. I'm just telling you the truth, because if you haven't read them, I want you to read them. I say that I could make videos for 20 years and never scratch the surface of what I've already uh, covered in detail in these books. And they are available uh, through Amazon, have always been available through Amazon. The link is down there. Or now they are available through our website, stonemont.us. Stonemont.us. The link is also down there below. And if you order them through the website, uh, I get to sign them for you if you would like. There's a place on there that says, well, what would you like Steve to sign in your book? And uh, whether it's to you or whether it's a gift, I have so many people have m put in multiple orders because they get their own and they read them and then they want to send them to friends and things like that. I love doing that because I love my relationship with my readers, just like I do with my viewers and, and things like that. So those are, are now available on the website. Get them while they're hot. I just got a new shipment in, so they're ready to go for those who order. Um, <clears throat> now, the special announcement. I know a lot of you have been bugging me about this for a long time, uh, and and and, the, and that is, when are the books going to be out on Audible? Okay? All right. Yes, I've thought about that. I know I've been thinking about it for two years because I know that a lot of people out there, whether for whatever reason, some people have told me, well, I don't read very well anymore. My eyes are, you know, or uh, I like to... to to, I would like to be able to listen to it while I'm driving. We got a lot of over-the-road drivers here. Uh, or I'd just like to listen to it while I'm, I'm laying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep. Uh, don't do that. It'll keep you awake. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, but, it'll, it, but you'll be happy while you're awake. Uh, and so I've thought about all the, all the different ways to do it. I have looked into, you know, there's a lot of programs out there that you can take audible books through. But I've also had people say, why don't you read them? We like your voice, uh, why don't, and we love books read by the author. So I looked at that, and I looked at all the different ways I could do that. And I finally decided the way I'm going to do it, because I like to keep everything in-house. <coughs> and I started it this morning. I am going to read it myself. I have already recorded the first two segments which encapsulates the first chapter of the first book, The Reversion, okay, and put them on the Patreon channel at the Stonemont level. Okay, because I, I wanted it to be, uh, I wanted it to be, um, I didn't want it to be expensive. Right. I wanted people to have access to the to the audibles. I didn't want them to make it too expensive. And I thought, well, if they pay for the, the whole thing. Anyway, I won't go into my reasoning. But this way, at, at five dollars a month, you will be able to have access to all of of my readings of the books. Like I said, I did the first chapter today. It comes in two installments because uh, I do them in about 30, 30 minutes or less. So the first one, I think, was uh, 
25 minutes, and the next one was 9 minutes. So you just watch those two, you're going to have the first chapter. Tomorrow I will read the second chapter. Now whether I will do one a day or whether I will do more than one a day or sometimes I'll skip a day, I'm not sure how that will go. Um, but we'll just, we'll just see. I have to be honest. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. And I, I've said this before. I remember when Rush Limbaugh uh, came out with his, his books, the uh, Liberty Series, and when he said that reading those books was the hardest work he'd ever done. And I, I couldn't believe it. I said, how, how could it be hard? You already wrote it. Now all you have to do is read it. It is hard. It's amazing how difficult, at least for me, maybe it wouldn't be for you. It's amazing how difficult it is for me to read the words that I wrote exactly as I wrote them. Because in my mind, I kind of know what's going on, right? And you'll have a tendency to, you know, ad lib a little bit. And I, and I don't really want to do that too much. Uh, and so I've, I've stumbled over a couple of words. I'll be real honest with you. These first two, I won't say that I am... Uh, super proud, although the people who have watched them really liked them. We've had some people already make comments on them. Great job. We love this. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to let you, it, it, it was not perfect. And that's my goal to shoot for perfect. So hopefully every one I do will be a little bit better. And you know, the thing is, it, it's not a matter of reading. That's what I discovered. You're not just reading it because for somebody to just read it, <clears throat> it would be very boring. You have to actually perform it. And that was a surprise to me. So we'll see how well I do. But I will give it the, uh, the, old, uh, the old try, right? Um, so that's the big news for today. Actually, there's more big news coming out. Mm, not today. For Stone Modders. Big news. Big surprise for you all. I think you're going to like it. And yes, the Stone Mount mug. Somebody says, did I see a Stone Mount mug? Yes, you did. This isn't the finished product. I'm going to spend, after I get done with this today, I'm going to spend the rest of the day finalizing the design on this. Hopefully have these ready for, for your, you to be able to order uh, later this week. So let me have a sip, and uh, then we'll start talking about... Um, oh, did I say, I should have said this. For those who don't know, the way to get to our Patreon channel, the link is also down below. Just hit it. It'll bring you our Patreon channel. There are two levels, the entry level, which is a dollar a month, and the Stonemont level, which is $5 a month. And that gets you all the extra material that I put up over there, uh, plus the readings of the Stonemont series. So let me have a sip. I don't sip while I'm reading, except when I get to the the parts where Jim's taking a sip, maybe I'll sip. Who knows? Do you, do you, by the way, do you all who drink coffee, do you put butter in your coffee? <laughs> it's good. Okay, one more and let's get at it. <clears throat> what's going to happen? Are you ready for what's about to happen? Now, when we say about, does that mean this afternoon? Does that mean by the weekend? Does that mean in the next month? Doesn't matter because it's coming. <clears throat> we know it's coming. We don't know exactly what's coming because it seems like there is so much being thrown at us that it's like Chuck Norris is famous as saying, I'm going to hit you with so many rights, you're going to be begging for a left, right? Well, we're not begging for a left, but we wish there weren't so many rights being thrown. Well, actually, they're throwing lefts at us, right, commies? Uh, so, so there's so much coming at us, it's almost impossible to keep track of it um, and to be able to, to, to respond or prepare to individual situations. That's why I have never uh, been a proponent of preparing for individual situations. I say, prepare for everything. That's what I write about in my books. Prepare for the big one. Prepare for a CME. And then if you're prepared for that, you will be prepared for everything along the way. So what's going to happen? We know they're driving us to World War III. Okay, I, I see the the, um, the the titles on a lot of other channels are all talking about World War III. Yeah, yeah, it, it's coming. It's going to come. Uh, what's that going to look like? I think that's impossible to say. You know, take take World War II and combine it with the Cold War and combine it with cyber war and combine it with psychological warfare. Combine it with everything we can. And just like all of these, these food processing plants 
and refineries blowing up. That's all part of this war. This is just the lead up to it. How is all of this going to come together? Many people are worried about Russia. Many people are worried about China. Many people are worried about both, plus the southern border, a legitimate worry. Um, and they're worried about the economy, and they're worried about more bank closings, and they're worried about the fact that J.P. Morgan Chase just lost $75 billion in assets. Yeah, that's going to trickle down to everybody. They are, they are worried about the attack on the family. They are worried about uh, the situation with Trump. We, we have seen the weaponization of our government against us and everything we stand for. And this is new. This, this is new. You know, I'm old enough to know that there have always been differences between the political wings. <clears throat> and I'm old enough to know, and I'm smart enough to know, there, that, that everything has pretty much been run under the table by the, the, the good old boys, the old boys network that's always been deals, you know. Like they said, uh, nobody see the, should see the making of law or sausage, you know, because it's just so messy. So I know all that. I, I, I lived through a lot of it. There's nothing new. I haven't trusted the government since I worked for the government in the 70s. And I saw inside that monster. I said, well, this, this thing is not working on our behalf. So that's not new. But this kind of political weaponization against a former president, whether you like him or not, I don't care. It, it's, it's, it's far out of bounds. The weaponization of the Department of Justice, the FBI, all this. We have fi finally, the curtain has been drawn aside, and most of the American people have seen the corruption that is our government. And if you want to go back, I've done this before, I won't dwell on it here. The corruption of our government, go back and, and understand why they started why they started that war between the states, why they started, started the Spanish-American War, why they started World War I, why they started World War II, why they started Korea, why they started Vietnam, why they started, you know, whatever, the so-called war on drugs, why they started the war on poverty, why they started the global war on terror. All of that is BS. And if you're mad at me for saying that, I'm sorry, but... Uh, do a little homework of your own. Don't, don't just get mad and discount it because if, if you don't think that's true, you need your eyes opened and the best person to open your eyes is, is yourself. Begin by reading Smedley Butler's War is a Racket. It's a very small book. It's a pamphlet. You can read it in an hour. And he explains clear back in the early 1900s his discovery as a general in the Marines uh, I think he was the most decorated at the time. Uh, he discovered that uh, we weren't fighting for our freedom or anyone else's freedom. We were fighting for the corporations. We were fighting for money, for the billionaires, for the racketeers, for the globalists. Okay, That's what it's all about. What I do believe is that we are in the death throes of the United States of America. This is, this is the end days of the United States. Okay? Now, whether that also means that we're in the end times, some people believe we are. That's a biblical concept, not a political one. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with you know, entertaining that thought. Could be. I read the Bible just like you have. Okay, I might have a different take on it than you do. Let's don't get into a squabble on that. And I really don't want to see. Please don't put paragraphs and paragraphs of, of, of Scripture down here. That's not what this is about. Yes, could the United States, States be the Babylon that's referred to? Yes, it could. Okay, let's leave that aside. And let's, let's just say, yes, it could. Okay. If you want to stay away from theology and you simply want to go with John Glubb's Fate of Empires, if you've read that, 
you understand. If you haven't, you can look it up. You can Google it. There's a PDF available for free. It's 30 pages long. Sometimes the two best things you can read right now is that is is Smedley Butler's War as a Racket and Fate of Empires by John Glubb. Um, in PDF, he tracks all the previous empires and how their ascendancy and decline and collapse goes over a period of roughly 250 years. We are in the decline, approaching the collapse. Um, and so I, I am, I am sure that that that's what we are. There, there's no way that this country can can continue to sustain itself at the rate it's going. Yeah. Are we going to last for a while? Is it all going to come to an end by, you know, fall? No, no, we're, we're going to last for a while. The, our, our country is huge. Our economy is huge. Our government is huge. There are going to, to be continued attempts to fix this and fix that and fix this and fix it. Not, not to fix it, of course, but for political expediency to keep those morons in office. The main thing that I want you to think about is, are you ready for that? And what it takes to be ready for that. You know, it would take forever to talk about what it might look like, and we could be wrong, okay? It would take forever to talk about what you need to do to be ready for it, you know. But here's the basic thing. You have to be separate from all of these systems that you depend on so that when they collapse, you don't. Okay. Now, whether that, now I'm a big, I've always said separate yourself from the, the system. Okay. I don't necessarily mean moving to the country, although many, many do it by doing that, and there's not a darn thing wrong with that. Do it. Uh, that I mean, that's that was the premise of of my books, right? Very first thing it explains how he, they moved outside town and they they prepared. What were they prepared for? To live totally self sufficient. And explains how they did it. And it explains how everyone can do it. I, I often get comments and and just you know from negative people to say, well, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has all the money in the world. Well, I, I'll guarantee you that I don't have all the money in the world. Neither did they. They did it. I explained how to do it. You can do it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if you want to separate yourself from the system but remain, and I'll tell you, to, to be real honest, you can do it living in the city. I, you could do it living in the inner city. Okay. There are there are homeless people. Now you don't want to be homeless. I know that. There are people living in the underworld in a city who have totally separated themselves from the formal system. Do they still use the system as supply? Yeah, they do. They've found out ways to do it. I don't think you want to do it that way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to continue to live a nice life, and so do you. But you need to be able to be separate from those, as we talk about integrative preparedness, to be independent of all of those integrated systems, external systems over which you have little or no control. So the when one goes down, you're fine. When another one goes down, you're fine. You know, food deliveries go, go down, grocery stores are empty, you're fine. You've got what you need. Okay? You've got what you need and you're growing. Uh, water supply goes down, you're fine. You've got stored water and you've got a way to purify water. Okay? Banking system goes down or the internet goes down, you're fine. You've got cash at home. Well, it's difficult to, you know, you can't pay your mortgage payment, but if everything goes down, you're not going to have to worry about your mortgage payment, right? You're going to have to worry about defending your, your property from marauders, but then you're fine because you have prepared for that, right? No matter how this happens, no matter how the collapse happens, and I've made this reference a number of times too, when somebody, it's the old saying, somebody says, how did you grow broke? And the guy says, well, gradually at first and then all at once. 
very possibly how this could happen. It could be a cascading effect. It could be simply more and more problems piled on the problems that we have until finally, bam, it's over. Or it could just be, uh, what's, what's that famous saying? It's from a famous poem. I forget who it was by. Uh, this is the way the world ends, not with a bang but a whimper. Could be that could very possibly be that. The solution is to be self-sufficient. Totally self-sufficient. But Steve, nobody can be self-sufficient, totally self-sufficient. Well, if you say you can't be, you won't be. You won't try because you think that way. Stop thinking that way. Because what is the alternative to collapse with the system? That's not what you want. Okay. So elevate your mind a little bit. Elevate your determination to no matter what happens with this world, you and your family are going to be fine. I've talked about this regarding different, different organized crime organizations. I'm writing another book about it now. You can't control anything that's going on in the world. Neither can I. None of us can control what's going on in the world. What we can do and what we have to do is watch and continue to prepare. Basic preparedness is your starting point. It's not your ending point. You know how complex this world is. You have to take it beyond basic preparedness into integrative preparedness, complete preparedness, so that no matter what happens, when the United States, whether it's biblically or politically, is no more, there you are, yes, surrounded by threats. I get it. I get it. You know, people have this idea when they hear me talk, well, don't you realize that there's going to be people one to... Yes, I realize. I wrote books about it. Yes, I understand. It's going to be a world full of threats. So what's the alternative? Not to be ready? Just to go, oh, well, the world's full of threats. Nothing I can do. Well... If that's what a person wants to do, that's up to them. That's not what I choose to do, and that's not what I think most of you all choose to do. My suggestion is this. Crank up your preparedness to the highest extent you can and as fast as you can. Now, that doesn't mean do it stupidly. Okay. That doesn't mean to go out and buy a whole bunch of more guns if you've already got guns. Or ammo if you already got ammo. What it means is take a look at your overall picture and see where you're short or where you could go a little bit further. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't read these, you can get so many out. You say, but, but what, what do I do next, Steve? Read these. And if you've only read through them once, read them again. I'll guarantee you missed stuff. Our country is over. Our country is collapsing. There's no way to turn it around. Sure, we will fight on the way down. Yeah, because, I mean, I hope, I mean, I know we have some quitters in the audience, but it's not you, is it? We don't quit. We continue to fight. And we might fight against that thing that's coming at us while we move, while we fight to keep it off of us. So it doesn't destroy us while we're moving out to the flanks, right? We're moving out to the site. We're going to move out of their path. And then we just let them go right on by. Right on by and destroy themselves and everybody else who wasn't prepared. Sad statement, but, you know, that's the way it is. So the one that does crash, you're still standing. You're still working. And you're ready to start over, to rebuild. You know what it says on the cover of the first book? When the world collapsed, some were ready, ready to start over. Are you ready to start over? That's what you have to think. That's your yardstick. Am I ready with what I have to start over again? And if you're not You've identified where you need to prepare more. Okay? All right. That's it. 
Serious times, folks, it's coming. It's coming faster and faster. Uh, remember, come join us on Stonemont now. On the Stonemont level, you'll be able to get the Audible of the Stonemont series. Yeah, it'll take, I imagine it'll take me about a month to get through the reversion. I'll do a chapter a day, or if they're short, I'll do two chapters, or if they're long, I'll do, you know, two days to do a chapter, whatever. Uh, probably take me a month, maybe a little bit more to get through the reversion, and then I'll simply start on the uh, revival. And then, what's this? I don't do this very well. The renewal. And then an appeal to heaven. And then the blessings of freedom. And then hostages to fortune. And I haven't decided what to name my seventh one yet, but... It's going to be ready in a couple months, so I guess I'd better get at it, right? Today I'm going to finish designing the uh, Stone Mount mugs, get those ready for you guys. Like I say, there is a very special announcement coming for Stone Monters pretty soon, but do join us. Uh, again, the books are available on the website, as are t-shirts and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, link is down below, stonemont.us, or uh, join us over on Patreon, and I will look forward to seeing you over there. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And if you don't prepare well today, you're not going to live well tomorrow. We are going to live tomorrow exactly how we've prepared to live. So let's get at it, okay? You all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.